Okay guys, so I love this project. This guy creates this amazing LED displays, which I want to do a startup with. And thing is that, it, here it is. It makes the whole process so worth it. And I'm so excited to see how this is going to look with all the... So when I try to download and print the PCB, basically I got this error that there's missing parts. So I went on Claude, I'm a software engineer. I'm not a electronics engineer, but I'm learning. So basically this is the updated PNP file with, after looking at the videos, I confirmed that this components aren't necessary and he's not actually using them. So I removed them and I hope it will work. I'm gonna print it and test it and hope for the best because in the video you can see that he's not actually using those parts so it could theoretically be safely removed and we should be okay so I'm gonna do just that I really wish demo there was a little bit more explanation of how to wire this thing um, but I'm guessing this is for power, but this is also for power, so that's kind and of And then the red one is also, also going to go for this plus, this so plus. let's so do that real quick. quick. Alrighty, the, the moment of truth. It's like you skip, and then there's like this cable. The URT in is let's there, do that real quick. what's it hooked Alrighty. up to? Like you can see something connected to it, but you don't know exactly what is connected to it. So that's quite. I need. I need to talk to this guy. Figure this out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask this guy to like, hey, can we meet on Zoom or something? I really need to build this. Can we please do a? quick zoom well I hope he replies me <laughs> because I really need to build this I want to start a business with open source LEDs and this would be great so I really need to do this so yeah that's pretty cool and uh, I'm gonna hope for the best right now. This is the circuit. You can see that the GPIO pins weren't actually being used in the video. They're not even installed. So you can see they're not even installed, so it's cool. So I bet removing them won't do any damage and he mentioned that these are not being used because they're shorted. So it's okay to remove SPI out and SPI in question is what is URT in? Um, I'm gonna look more further into the video and pause the video for a second and see what exactly is URT in for in one of the descriptions of the circuit because Let's see over here. Finding the custom, Finding the printed, custom circuit printed circuit board or PCB, board or PCB for this project. For this and that project. is where the video where sponsor the video JLC PCB, PCB comes into play. Comes they into offer play. a full they suite of services to take you from design to manufacture and, and Gerber and files, which you can use, you can use to order the fully order assembled the fully boards assembled directly from JLC PCB. Simply upload the files, select your quantity, pick the color you want for your board to this not to less than $10 each, making this the best way to fully assembled boards come out to less than $10 each making this the making best this way best to get your hand 32 s3 system, system on a chip which has a ton of built-in features built like wi-fi and, wi and bluetooth very cool if very you want to cool. see why this microcontroller is so awesome so be sure to check out my last video this, this is a usb c port, port, port for both programming as well as power this is a boot button to get to the bootloader for programming and a reset button that does what reset buttons do obviously and we have here a 5 volt to 3.3 volt regulator because the esp32 
creates a 3.3 volt power signal, but the USB port as well as our power supply are both 5 volts. So we need this regulator. Speaking of power supply, there's some pads up here that we can solder our power supply wires to, as well as the data wires for our LEDs. And then we have a switch here that lets us switch between supply power and USB power so that our lines don't get crossed if both the power supply and the USB port are plugged in at the same time. Finally, I have these headphone jacks here for our data in and our data out. These top ones are connected to serial 0 and serial 1, which you can control in code. And these bottom ones don't actually work because I didn't understand how this part worked, so I shorted the signal together. So just pretend those don't exist. And there we have it. Very nice board. Even snuck my logo in there in the bottom corner. I got my fully assembled boards a week after placing my order, and just look at how perfect they came out. You don't have to be a professional hardware engineer to design your own custom circuit boards. Check out JLCPCB and use my link down in the description to get $60 worth of coupons that you can apply towards your order. Now let's continue this build. So this is 1 8 inch acrylic. Jeez. Okay, so that's that's great. So we know that this is actually for data in, but the problem is that how do you wire it and program it? Um, those parts are not really in the video, so that's kind of rough um, to make this happen. So I really need to meet with this guy to get this working or make a better video or something that goes like step by step how to do this. And um, basically, he doesn't explain on this part. It's not clear whether he's passing the data to USB or passing the data via the data input cable. So that's kind of confusing. It's going very fast. So. And one of these and LED of these female, female connectors, connectors. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. A I've, made I've made it pretty straightforward. All I LED, LED is, is my custom circuit custom board, board, a power a cable, power and one of these LED, LED female, female connectors. connectors. Easy peasy. Easy. And then six and then of six these of LED these tiles. LED now, tiles. Now, these LED now, tiles LED are just going to snap into place. Just like that. Just like pretty that. satisfying, pretty if I do say, so, I say myself. so myself. Now the ones in the middle the are actually going to go upside down, down, and that is and just that is to make the code make the happy. Code we must happy. obey the must code. Obey the all right, code. easy peasy, right. just, like that. just like that. All right, and all once right. all the tiles are in place, all we have to do is take the previous one and plug it in. All right, and just like that, all of our tiles are connected together, and it's time to solder to our board. All right, this is pretty straightforward. On my little board here, I have supply power. Here, minus, here, and minus and plus, black, black goes to minus, red goes to plus. Down, down here I have the data have pin, the data and next to it is the negative terminal or our connector, our connector here, here, which is this here, white is cable. cable. And then the red one the red is also going to go for this plus. plus. So, so let's do that real quick. That real quick. Alrighty, the moment of truth. I have flashed the demo code onto my microcontroller here. Let's see if it lights up. Let's go! Seeing the finished product like this just makes the whole process so worth it. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so he flashed it and yeah, finished. you yeah, guys can probably see that onto my microcontroller here. Let's, Let's see if it lights up. There is no USB cable inside. It's hard to see if there's a USB cable there. I'm so excited to see how it's really hard to see if there's a USB cable there and that's where the data is coming from. Or how are you passing the data from your computer through the to this connector? It's kind of hard to guess uh, when you're a beginner like me so oh man it's so frustrating I, re I really wish I could just build this as fast as possible um, so unfortunately that's the end of this video and I am buying this part I'm trying to figure this out I wonder if on the previous videos there's any type of clue of what's going on okay guys so I tried so my entire wire oh, currently oh, has, oh, has so the so new LED wall searching wall. for a way to do this but unfortunately the videos skip the parts of the wiring and the programming so I'm gonna have to start from scratch building my own lead wall if you guys are interested let me know 
if anyone can get a hold of this person and make him meet with me or or make a step-by-step -step guide that would be amazing but he hasn't replied to the comments requesting a meeting or requesting a step-by-step -step guide video so I don't have my hopes up right now so thank you for watching guys